What is up guys, Austin Nerd Joe here and today we are unboxing the very first Geek Fuel EXP, yeah I believe that's what it's called, and it's volume 1. So this is their brand new box, so they're doing 4 boxes a year now instead of 1 every month. And they're now these giant boxes and they cost a lot more. So I'm hoping that we get some good stuff in this and it's worth the price increase. Um, but like I said, we get it every 4 months. So we'll be testing probably a, a few amount, if we don't like it, probably canceling to save on the money. But let's go and check this out. So of course it's labeled all, you know, Geek Fuel, Geek Fuel EXP in here. Then we have a nice card and it's, I like how they have it. Warm Warning contains spoilers, so I assume in this it's like a little envelope type thing you can open. So that is cool. We'll look at that last, of course. So let's go ahead and start with our pins. So our very first pins is again with our pin pals, and it's a Planet of the Apes. And so let's see, we have two or multiple pins in here. So we have two characters here. So it looks like George Taylor. I'm looking at the stuff on the back here, and Hunt. Hunt Leader is what it says on the back here as our two characters that we got. There is a rare character, uh, George, in the spacesuit, which we did not get. He's in, like, um, primitive clothes here. And then we also have this ANSA pin included in there as well. So that is cool. Again, I like their pin pal characters, and I like this whole two-pack thing. I like that, and then they threw in the, you have the actual pin up here and stuff. So I think that's cool that they have all that together. Then next up, we have our shirt for the month, and the box is kind of open. It's in a weird box. But on the top here, it says... Merc with a unicorn, so I assume it's a Deadpool, and yeah, it's definitely Deadpool. So let's look at this. So first off, I can tell I don't like the shirt collar, but at least it's a dark gray and not a, the lighter version. But there we go. It looks like almost like the Brady Bunch with Deadpool care. At least the design looks <laughs> remind me of Brady Bunch. So we have the Deadpool logo there in the center, then all sorts of different Deadpools. And I like how we have two Deadpools fighting over here. We have a pirate Deadpool, a chef. Um, looks like Deadpool with sock puppets, a Spider-Man rip-off version, um, him eating tacos and a drink or something that I can't really tell. Um, but I really like that. And of course, we do have the tag on here, you know, official Marvel merch and stuff there. So that is awesome. So that's uh, kind of an interesting shirt. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Deadpool, but at least it's the best quality shirt we've gotten from a box in a while. Next up here, we have, it looks to be a Bob's Burger, Burger of the Day, Geek, f the Geek Now, or f or. F you, I don't even know. Whatever that says, I can't read it. Um, but let's see what it is for sure. It says one officially licensed. Oh, it's an apron. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we have an apron here. Let's see what all. So it looks like it just has the whole family on it, the Belcher family or whatever's there. So we have the whole family, and that's a very colorful apron. And I like the design of it, but I don't like Bob's Burgers at all. Um, so that's very interesting, though. Like I said, I like the design with all the characters, and it's a very nice color for apron. So I'm sure if someone likes Bob's Burgers, they'll absolutely love this. So that's kind of interesting. And next up here, we have a Marvel item. It says only available at Geek Fuel, and we have a Wolverine on the front. And so it's a cam it says canvas collection, so I assume it's a print of some sort. So here it is. It is a picture of the Wolf one of the Wolverine covers. I think this is the one where he well, fights Hulk. Or something, I believe, of the comment. I don't know if it says on there. I think that's the Frank Miller It says September 1 there, of course, Wolverine, um, comic, or Marvel Comics with Wolverine. So it is just a canvas like printing, and so it has like this wood around it, which it's very thick, and like this has a lot of weight to it. And I just like how they even put the barcode and everything in there. So it's a nice little picture. It has a hanger on the back here that you, you know, hang it up on the wall with. So that is a really nice picture. Next up here we have a Game of Thrones Winner Is Here collection of Titan figures and this is a Geek Fuel exclusive so I assume we'll have an exclusive figure out of here and maybe just some random one but let's go ahead and open this. So we have our character here and it is of the Night King I believe is his name the leader of the White Walkers and so we have him and he's all like translucent like you can see through the blue it's like a really light blue and you can see there it may be glow in the dark I'm not exactly sure. Um, do you see it on the box or anything? So there's nothing on that box. Uh, um, this like color, like I said, I think it may be glow in the dark. But I can't really tell, obviously, because we have all the lights. Uh, but it, that may be what makes it an exclusive. There, of course, is a regular version down there on the bottom of the box. But yeah, this looks really cool, and I like the way he looks in the blue and everything. So that's awesome. Next up here we have, of course, a Ninja Turtle item, and it's shaped like pizza, and it says Cowbunga Pizza Cutter. So it's gonna be a pizza cutter of some sort. So let's go ahead and open this. So as you can see, we can open up the lid. I like how it looks like all cheese and everything all melted down. But you open it, it's got, of course, some instructions there for uh, like a pizza or something like that. And then we have another piece of paper. And then we have the pizza cutter. And this thing is awesome. So here it is. There we go. It's Raphael's side. So we have, you know, the handle of his side, two of the prongs here. And then where the center prong would come out, it's actually a pizza cutter. So that is awesome. And it's 
kind of, it feels like rubbery, you know, like a soft rubber, but it's also hard at the same time. Like it feels like it, but it's hard. Um, and it's got like turtle shell design on the end. So I really like this. This is an awesome pizza. I don't know like quality wise how good it is, um, but that's really cool. And I love this design. That is so cool. And our last item out of the box is something I really like and enjoy. It's a Lego Star Wars book and it says Chronicles of the Force. So it's just a book with a bunch of like Lego pictures and information about Lego stuff. I absolutely love Legos and Star Wars Legos to be um, in fact whatever. And then we also have a Force Awakens exclusive figure right there. Of course it's not exclusive uh, to like geek feel or anything just to this book. So I really like to enjoy it and I love looking at these books all the time. So it's really cool that they threw one in there and that's what I also added because this box was very heavy so this is what added a lot of the weight to it as well. So that is awesome. And before we go through everything I want to show off the box here. So it has a little display of the wall from Game of Thrones so you can take your little um, White Walker King here guy and just kind of you know, stick him in there as a display and I think that looks really cool and they put a lot of you know details into this artwork just for inside of a box and everything so that's really cool. So that is everything so let's go ahead and look at our book now so when you open it this is what it looks like on the inside so we'll just look through everything so of course we got our Deadpool shirt here um, I say it looks like one of them's a black shirt, which we did not get, but I think it's just this shirt and the like, lighting makes it look dark. But we got the shirt there that says Deadpool T-shirt, the Wadey Brunch, so it is supposed to be like the Brady Bunch there. Then we got our awesome, which I think is the best time, the Cowbunga Pizza Cutter there, that's awesome. Then we got our Star Wars Chronicles book here. Then next we had our Bob's Burger apron there, which again, I like the, in the picture, the guy looks... Like Bob and everything has a mustache on and all that. Then we had our Wolverine picture. Again, a really nice canvas picture here um, that you can hang on the wall. Then we had our Game of Thrones exclusive night that does glow in the dark. It does say here glow in the dark and of course has the diorama that you can do and everything with the box. And then of course the last item being the Pin Pals Planet of the Apes pin. So that looks like that is everything for the box this month. It doesn't show anything about like any... Um, like rare or exclusive things you could have gotten or if there was a, like an even bigger crate whatever you know like they call them mega crates and stuff but that is it for this box of so bird what was your favorite item out of the box uh probably the pizza cutter yeah definitely the pizza cutter is definitely the coolest thing out of them um i'd have to say for the box overall I, I was actually pretty impressed and we definitely got better quality items than you normally get um i do like the Deadpool shirt again it's not like obviously my favorite but actually this is actually a decent shirt for once from a box pizza cutter is awesome i love the lego book this wolverine picture is cool and then i even like these little titan figures and stuff the pins i don't really care that much about i mean i like their pin pal designs but playing the apes i'm not a fan of and then the apron i don't really care about at all and so i think this box is probably definitely worth like i said you definitely see a, a definitely increase in value going through this box and so i'm super excited for that so we'll definitely be getting at least another one or a couple more just to see if the um streak continues of good boxes so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing if you did let me know in the comments down below let me know what your favorite item out of the box was and what your new opinion of this new box is and don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings and we'll see you next time